Hey guys, it's me Vix123 and welcome back to uh, Polybridge. I know it's been quite a while. I'm sorry about that. There have been so many other cool games I've been playing on the channel, but we have returned. We are back, back at home, making the derpiest bridges going. So here we have tall bridges. Let's get right into it. I'm renowned for building bridges that just don't really make much common sense at all. So I've got three freaking heavy dump trucks to go across this massive gap. And I've only got points down at the bottom. Okay. So what I'm thinking here is only 65,000 budget as well. If I had an unlimited budget, I just honeycomb it all the way up to the top. I don't think that's going to work. What I think I need to do is perhaps have, like, maybe, like, if I spread the weight out. Because the thing is, if I have, like, if I have just a triangle that goes up and kind of out, like an hourglass type thing... When it walks on, it's going to put all the pressure straight down the lines to the middle. So I'm thinking if I have kind of towers, and then I build the top of the bridge across the towers, that could work. And I'm going to design the towers like this, so they almost rest on the edge as well. I think maybe if I go for... Do I go for three towers like this? We'll go to the top with that, see what kind of budget we have, and then put a top on. See how it goes. So I'm going to make, yeah, pretty much three towers that look just like this and we'll see how that goes and look at this it pretty much puts us perfectly at road height so if i was to have my road going like that and then probably something like like that honestly it can just drop down onto there and it will support itself up there take off some of the weight then what i'm gonna need to do is do will i be able to so that cost me eighteen thousand to do so yeah three of those i'm gonna be able to do so let's get going the second tower is actually in just out of curiosity I wonder if we could make this work just like this. In fact, now they're definitely going to fall down the middle, but is it weird that part of me wants to watch them kind of fail? And part of me loves to do trial and error, because obviously you can't do trial and error in real life bridge design. Like, you don't, you don't get to send people over to their deaths for funsies. Let's see how these sides work. So yeah, see that holds him. Uh, yeah, I think there was, if there was a bit of extra support in the middle, I mean, I could do it out from here, but I may as well just add one brand new tower, and I should have just enough budget to do that, so let's try that. And here we go, all three supports are in, and actually they add up quite nicely, so if I need to add, a, you know, a bit of extra structure in here somewhere, I could hopefully very easily do that, so let's hope for the best. I mean, it seemed pretty sturdy when they were going over this bit, and then again, they're, they're distributing that weight, they're moving it, they're moving it, am I getting better at this? You had one job, trucks. You had one damn job. Is that is that gonna stop them again? Is that is that seriously all that you guys can do it? Oh my god. Nah, I can't believe this is actually happening. Is this actually a thing? What am I what what does one do in this situation? Do I have to like I, uh, what? They can make it across and they get to here and then they're just dead. They're just dead. Do I seriously have to, like, give them a tiny, tiny incline here? Is that seriously... Watch this. Watch this make my whole bridge fall, fall apart. Can they jump? Oh, wait. No, we don't want wood there. Just just when I was... I was literally... I was on the verge of celebration there. Let's just do something dumb here. There. Are you happy? Are you happy, bridge? There we go. Look at that. There's no way they're making it over that. Can we bring it down a notch? That's surely got to be fine, right? Come on. You guys have done stunts before. That's an extreme stunt. And there we go. Done. Under budget. A pretty difficult bridge as far as they go. I, I, you know, I like what I came up with. Again, it would be kind of embarrassing if I didn't like what I came up with. Because it would suggest bad things about me. Um, Dump down, dump up. How? How? <laughs> my brain! Why am I still- I should have quit this game while I was ahead. I should have just been like, alright, that's the level for today done. How? Okay, so... I need to get this guy maybe to like, just drop into there and curve it around to there. And then this guy just to go straight up there. That's the plan. Jeez, if you've ever- if you've ever- I mean, how could you do it with hydraulics? Ideally, you want one line, really. Maybe one line there that opens with hydraulics and puts him on the... 
Lord knows what on earth. What has gone wrong here? Should I just have it honestly curved? Nah, you're, you're asking, game, you're asking way too much of me here. This is what I'm gonna, okay, so that's good. We've got kind of a solid structure there. Okay, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Honestly, let's just do it with steel for now. Actually, sure. Sure, honestly. Let's just get a nice steel shaping going on here. This is just to kind of determine. We're getting the logistics done. We've nearly used all our budget. This is all about the logistics. Forget him. He's. He... Oh god. You know what? No, no, no. Let's do it. Let's do it with wood. Give me a sec. Okay, so that is now done. And another thing I need to do just to test if this works is I need to literally keep this guy pinned in here. All right, he's not allowed out. Oh my gosh, my bridge just insta snaps. Okay, so let's get some. To be fair, I should have just put some steel in. To be fair, we could use wood for kind of the general. I use that just to get the measurements, of course. Always was planning on adding this this steel right here. Really is a steel. Ha. Classic pun of the day. I still think we need some more up here. Okay. So one makes it through. So we've got like stage one done. And then he actually starts driving afterwards. So actually I could do something very similar to that here. And just have literally a hydraulic system on there. To the back. Now obviously this isn't going to be as easy to do. But if I have that. So we want that to extend out. How do we do that again? How do we, how do we, oh yeah, there we go. We drag the arrows. Expand 50% that way. So look, this guy makes it along. We've got a little bit of risk there, but that's fine. And then this is gonna expand 50%. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I think it's sometimes better when I fail than when it works. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring that to like 26%. Um, okay. Let's just go for it. Let's get this guy out of the way. Easy does it. I just don't think this can handle the... Okay, no. We need slightly more than that. Just, how do we get this to... I mean, honestly, I could have that. Okay. We're on to, like, the, the rough right idea. To be fair, this guy doesn't start driving for a little while. So maybe if I just have this drop till it rests on the actual thing. Because look, we still got a solid bit of budget here. And will the bridge sustain having that on top? Like, he makes it under. It kind of drops through there, unless we have like some sort of split joint. We need it to kind of hold itself in place. I mean, how do we... Give me some thinking time. So this is the latest idea to actually create a kind of high point here. Add a bit more hydraulics, then we just want to have it kind of release it a bit that way. And release it a bit that way. I guess it needs to be kind of less so there and more so over here. This is going to be a trial and error job. So it makes it on there and then... Oh my gosh. Okay, so wait. So we need this one to expand. Let's just have them both expand a fair bit. Let's see. With it, I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit... I'm not very good with hydraulics, but if there wasn't so much stress on this, now why is there so much stress? I guess it's because that's holding it back, I get, I think, I think. So it looks like actually removing the uh, middle hydraulic has helped this out a little bit. We can get it to a point where it holds there, but now the problem is that we need to get the angle correct. So we may actually have to go even a little bit further with this. I'm even going to try and remove that, see if you can survive with this like it is. I think definitely the two hydraulic thing, they just weren't, they weren't cooperating properly. So I just need to work on making that a more smooth angle. So perhaps if I make it even longer actually, like there's no, there's nothing stopping me from doing this. And then we make it even a slightly shallower descent. See how is this, and I guess you can get it to expand. Does it, I guess it doesn't really matter which way it expands, does it? So there we go, oh. Oh, that, that could be, that could be the one. With a bit of tweaking, that could be the one. We've just got to kind of learn about 
where the stress is where as it delivers itself over. So it comes down. Right, let's go very, I should have done that bit fast. And this is the bit we want the slow. So here we go. He's fine, he's good. We've got no troubles, no troubles. It's when he gets onto here. It's, what's gonna break? It's the road either side. So maybe if I do a bit of support above and below the road with some steel here. I mean, I could probably very easily. To be fair, that's a fixed point. We could hold that there. And then we could add just a bit of support there. See if that's enough. So let's do this bit super quick. You're still all fine. That top piece of road worried me. Um, hello? Did he get, oh, did he get stuck on something? He did. What did you get stuck on? Oh, you know what? That piece of road was kind of sagging down before. So let's go for that then. And that wasn't giving him enough room to... There we go. Okay, let's slow it down, right down. So again, that's looking dodgy, but he's off it by the time it's a problem. Now that's secure. And we lost the middle, but he's still going. But now we also still lost there, and then everything kind of all falls apart. Okay, wait, we can we can do a very easy fix here. Make this all steel. It's a real steel. And let's even bring that up to there. We've still, we're just under budget now, so right, let's go fast. Bring you in, hopefully you can make it. Yep, you can. And now let's wait for this guy as soon as he's ready to go in. Yeah, let's put him on 0%, let's stop time. Am I playing uh, super hot again? I don't even know. See, this looks like just about the right angle, I'd say. And he's making it through. It's looking good. Please stay alive. He's on the uphill. That's dropped. And now everything has proceeded to drop. We can't do the uphill. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try and fiddle around with it. See if we can solve this. He's like, no. <laughs> so with a lot of tweaking and adding a steel and going a little over the budget, I think I've reached a point where this guy can make it only just though. Here, watch this. It's close. He makes it on, he makes it up. Unfortunately, we're over budget and you know how I am. I have to make sure that is not the case all the way. So, where can we start cheapskating is the question. Start adding in wood. Honestly, was that enough? Probably not, probably not given how much stress that is under now and it's going to be under when this guy goes up. Oh no, it's done. It is actually done. I did a hydraulics. I hope you're all proud of me. On to uh, the next level. Okay, what do we have? Elevation, so. Should probably make uh, an elevated bridge. Or I could just do the classic Vic thing and try and jump both of them over. Mm, no, I should probably do, actually I could just do a little arced bridge over there. So they just go down like that. Then up and over and, oh wait. But, hmm, maybe I need two tiers of bridge. How could we do this? The thing is, on this level, you only get 10 pieces of road. So let's see how far we can get with 10 pieces of road. We can literally just do that. So there definitely has to be some element of jumping involved. Unless I build both pieces of road at kind of a lower point. What if we do, okay, we're going for the drawbridge strategy here then. And look, it almost tempts me into that, look at that. It's wanting a hinge joint here, there we go. Hydraulics are coming in. That is what we know right now. So if I had something like... Thing is, I don't know how this car is going to get to where it wants to go. Unless I could have like some road going like that. And the car would essentially get to its point. But I think it needs to stop there. So I don't know how that's going to work. But in the meantime, we could create something quite nice. Just like this. That's actually gone way nicer than I thought it would. I've nearly used all my steel there. Do we have these above these points? Let's see, and then... I feel like I need something that's gonna stop that just from going floppy, unless, actually, to be fair, with the hydraulics... Wait, why is that just flopping? I guess because it has nothing holding the weight. Okay, I'm feeling it. So we have that just going straight down, across there. Okay, so he makes it, perfect. Yeah, as soon as that pulls up, my bridge kind of loses all of its hold. Actually, we can pull in some cables from here. 
those are pretty huge cables, but they hold the middle section out. The bridge goes, ah, okay, so we need those two. Get them to contract. Thing is, I think that just makes them contract less, doesn't it? Okay, no, that's no good. That is no good. You want them to contract 50%, right? That's gonna bring them up half of that distance. But it's just like, I need the hydraulics. I guess I could actually move where the hydraulics are. Here we go. Could have them hanging off the top here. And let's see if that lets our little boat through. Boat comes through, then the car rolls. Um, but then, if it was still going, so we just need a little bit of... A little bit of road to just get this guy down. What are we doing here? No one really knows or understands. <laughs> okay, wait, hold up, hold up. We need to we need to base it down this side here. Let's honestly just, just stick that there. I'm just hoping that's enough to stop this guy from rolling. I'll make him roll in the correct way. Here we go. We got a little gradual downwards, my friend. Wait, why, why is he in such a hurry to go? Um, what do you do in that situation? So he goes, and this guy just ain't gonna wait. Do I need to like slow him down somehow? So I've made many attempts to stop this car, to slow it down so it can still take this bridge right here. But the problem is that it just, it comes at the same time as the boat. And even if I could, you know, unsort the time, it would still hit the bridge while the bridge is up. And the fact of the matter is that I still don't have enough road to go across here. Now, with the level being called Elevation, what I've realized, I guess, is that the whole middle section of the bridge is supposed to lift up. So that the uh, that car can go across while the boat is there because they sink up. So how on earth I'm going to do this, I do not know. So essentially, I'm gonna need to kind of create like a cradle of a bridge there. So I guess let's start with, let's get our grid back on. Let's start off with some vertical steel. I'm gonna have to do the whole cable thing to here to hold this in place. Maybe even hold the two pieces in. No, nah, actually, because we're gonna have, okay, so we need a piece of bridge, a section of bridge. So first of all, we need bridge that runs to here. Now I already realized that can't be set like that. So I need bridge that, I guess we could have it. Do we want it to be flat? Honestly, this is fine. So we need to move that in at two notches. So we have bridge that goes to here. Then we're gonna have a lower bridge that actually isn't even gonna be attached here, which is a bit confusing. Like, how is this even gonna work? Um, think, think brain, okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be okay. So we need to make this bit of bridge stay here, which I think we can do with wood. We just bring that like that. Let's 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 work this out. Let's work this out. So we've got a piece of bridge like that. That's gonna stay and just right, it's not even gonna tell me what I can and can't do. Because if I had that like that Okay no let's just forget that bit happened. Let's uh let's just put some road. No let's not make that a split joint. Let's put some road to there just to hold the car back. To hold the car back just to test if the top bit works. Oh, of course, we're going to break it like that. You know, let's forget. Let's just pray that that's going to work. And let's do the same. In fact, we'll forget the other side for now. I just want to get the car from A to B. In fact, no, the other side is kind of essential right now. Let's bring that. Yeah, it's on the same height. So we have our two kind of halves here. That should all hold quite nicely. And now we just need, so we're gonna need some, hmm, some hydraulics that go down to like there. And they go down to like there. Okay, that's, that's pretty much vertical. Wait, one's vertical and one's not. Why is not? Um, is that? That is definitely not vertical, but that one is somehow. Whatever, let's let's not worry about that for now. So now we connect these with the road. That goes just like this. And then this whole road section is gonna lift up, so it doesn't actually matter where the supports are. 
So this needs to be a self-supported, an independent, a strong bridge lifter. Does this bridge even lift, bro? I have, I have no idea. I need to get these symmetrical somehow. Or at least lifting in a straight line so that doesn't sway over. I'm a little taken aback here, but literally just adding more hydraulics seems to have actually allowed us to get one car across. It lifts the bridge up, but not enough. So where do we need the bridge to be lifted more? I guess kind of from up there. Can I bring this a bit higher now? Let's bring this, let's bring this. Okay, that won't really go any higher. Um, so we need, I mean, these are contracting to the max right now. Unless I bring the middle of the bridge up a bit so the other bridge doesn't hit it. Oh no, we need that to stay straight to hold it all together. Because yeah, you want to keep them on the flat. It's just going to cause the less, least strain. So that pulls it up to that height and the, the boat just clips it. Um, how do we get it to go higher? Now we could take out just the... We just want to get... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We can... We can replace the steel. Because we still can't actually bring that much higher. Unless I have a plan, we bring this all lower. So what it's lifting up is higher. Does that make any sense? I, I hope it does. Let's see if that does anything slightly better for us. So let's see. Is that going to lift the whole thing up a bit higher? It is moderately higher. But it still needs to go a fair bit more. It's just starting to make me, I guess, honestly, we can make this a really, I don't know if this is going to help much. I wonder if I just go for the, no, okay. Let's bring that back up. What do we need to tweak here? I always feel like I need to get this higher up, but it's just how do I do that with it still having, unless, hold up. We uh, take this back a little bit. We have steel up to here. Steel up to here, and this is all the right angle and secure. Then, wait, do I have more steel? I have, how much do I have? Two available. It's almost as if it's meant to be. Wait, but that's the maximum the hydraulics can go. It is, it's the maximum that hydraulic can go. And now we can get this on a definite straight line. Let's have that to that kind of height. Let's see what this does. I feel like those hydraulics, oh, it's a rocky bridge, it's a rocky road, but, oh my gosh, if this somehow works, <laughs> the car nearly made it onto the boat, let me try and tweak this, after a few minutes of tweaking, look how close we are, it's a very, I, I wouldn't trust this bridge, I wouldn't go anywhere near this bridge, but it so nearly works, look, the mount works, it's the dismount, and, Thing is, I've been trying so hard to add extra hydraulics to kind of just keep it all alive, but it just really doesn't. And I'm not even, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't even like these hydraulics, because in my eyes, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe I need to adjust the, uh, I don't know, it just it just falls apart. And I just don't get it. I, I don't get why it would fall apart. I really don't understand. Like, what if I put them really, just no matter what I do, whenever I put in that second hydraulic, it just, it just messes everything up. And I don't really know why, because I thought it would help. So, I'm a bit stuck at this point. Actually, mm, if I add hydraulics to here, random thought, could that help? Just, just to give it a bit of stability. Oh. But it's going to stop it from going up, isn't it? Actually, if I just have those there, but I just have them basically do nothing. Just hold, hold length. Actually, how high is the top of the bridge going to be? Realistically, I want them to actually expand a bit. Expand like 16%. That's what I want them to do. Just so they just they just hold the bridge in place a bit. Let's see if that does anything. But they don't... Oh, God. Okay. Let's have them expand. Thing is, do they force the bridge apart when they try and expand? That's the problem. Like, I'm not too sure. Let's see. Yeah, I think they, like, try and push the bridge apart. It's a slight problem. I don't think I could... I mean, what would happen... Is How flexible is cable? I don't think it is very flexible. But if I put it in like that... I guess it would just go... It would go limp, and then it will stretch back out. Oh? 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 
He's gonna be a tiny bit below though. That is so close. Hold up. If I Hmm. If I push this can I not push this down at all? Why won't that go down any further? What's what's the Oh, those hydraulics are maxed. Hmm. If I could just bring this whole thing a little bit higher. Then that would work. I just need to get it. Oh, it's too low. Unless I curve it at the end. So wait, let's go back to what we had before. Where it was just like that. Okay, there we go. We know we're definitely back where we were. Unless I just have them jump off the edge. Let's see. This could be it. This could be it. Because he can get we know he can get on. It's just the dismount that he was struggling with. But now if he doesn't struggle with the dismount. Oh my gosh! That is genuine! We've completed Snowdrift, the whole of Snowdrift, under budget. That was like brain power had to activate to get through that. And we were decently under budget. Beautiful. Let's go to the map and look at the beauty of the snow drift complete. If you guys are still enjoying the series, make sure you have a like rate. If you're still here, that's awesome. Glad you're able to chill out, watch some bridges and that sort of stuff. Uh, let me know if you want to see some more. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode or another video. Stay true to yourself. What was that? Like some random ending video inspirational. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, it's, it's cool. Everything's good. Everything's great. Adios.